Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD's new custom APU gets tested. Their upcoming monster GPU has what? Microsoft explains why your CPU isn't supported, and the CPU market is set to get turned on its head. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD's new custom APU, the 4700S, was recently tested. Remember that this is essentially a PS5 APU with the iGPU disabled. According to the Korean tech site Bodnara, the kit includes an RX 550, 16GB of GDDR6, and the motherboard for around 500,000 won, which is roughly $440 US. And of course, that may sound pretty bad, but you really only need a PSU, case, and storage to have a full PC. Bodnora tested it against Intel's 11,700, which is over $300 alone. When it comes to those tests, the 4700S has much higher latency but much faster bandwidth, and that's due to the use of VRAM for system memory. But of course, that is how the consoles are made. As for performance, the RX 550 fared pretty well against the 11700's iGPU, so it is a pretty good deal when it comes to getting a full system. With that said, I'd mostly just wait for GPUs to lower in price. And of course, while we all love PC hardware, someone has to actually develop the hardware, drivers, software, all of it. And that person could be you with today's sponsor. Brilliant, the website and app that was built to teach the STEM field. And what's great about Brilliant is that they teach you using fun, interactive lessons instead of memorizing tons of formulas or endless facts. Simply put, Brilliant teaches you the right way. That is, learning by doing. Plus, they have tons of different courses, so whether you're a beginner or a professional, Brilliant has something for you. I really love how they have these learning paths, so you can learn in the order they recommend without getting ahead of yourself. So learn the right way today by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermeld, and the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up, I have an update on AMD's upcoming monster GPU, the MI200. Remember that the MI200, codenamed Aldebaran, is the GPU that's set to change the market by combining two GPUs into one. I'm talking this bad boy is set to come with upwards of 14,336 cores. That's a beast. Well, in a new report from 4Onyx, AMD shared more details via a new Linux patch. According to them, the Linux patch shows us that AMD's GPU is set to come with a whopping 128GB of HBM2E memory. That's 128 gigs. NVIDIA's own A100 only comes with 80GB of HBM2E memory. Okay, I say only very loosely because that's still a ton, but the MI200 is set to have even more. I'm not sure if that's simply required to feed all of those cores or to help with potential latency issues that may arise from using multiple modules. Either way, AMD's upcoming cDNA2 based GPU is set to be a serious contender for Nvidia. Next up for today, we finally have some details on why Microsoft decided to exclude millions of PCs from their Windows 11 OS. For those who didn't see my recent video on it, the company updated their system requirements page for Windows 11, and it excludes 1st Gen Ryzen and Threadripper from AMD, and basically anything below 8th Gen from Intel. And I will say that some of you did mention that you can install the OS on older hardware right now, but that's just the Insider Preview build. These requirements are for the actual release. With that said, the director of Microsoft's OS security, David Weston, explained to Tech Republic why they're being so strict. In the article, one of the things Microsoft mentions is the lack of support. Apparently, while 1st Gen Zen and 7th Gen Intel CPUs have the hardware required for Windows 11, they only get, quote, limited support, which may go back to Microsoft's new Windows driver model. Next, they mention security, as Windows 11 has a lot of things turned on by default that Windows 10 doesn't. Of course, he states that the older CPUs have these security features, but they apparently don't have the hardware acceleration when using Microsoft's virtualization-based protection. And apparently, Microsoft is using virtualization for their Android app support. Ultimately, it sounds like something that should just be up to the user. With that said, Microsoft has apparently updated their system requirements yet again. Before, it said that if you don't meet the requirements, you cannot upgrade to Windows 11. Now it says that if it doesn't meet the requirements, you may not be able to upgrade. 
Basically, like I mentioned in that last video, Microsoft is testing to see if they will support Windows 11 on older CPUs or not. Let's hope that they ultimately do, but I really wouldn't get too excited. And lastly for today, AMD, Intel, and Apple have a new challenger that's set to completely turn the CPU market on its head. I'm talking bigger than Apple's M1 CPU. For those who don't know, at the beginning of this year, Qualcomm purchased the startup Nuvia, which is a company I actually covered way back in 2019. Well, Qualcomm CEO Christiana Amon claims that the company is releasing high-performance notebook CPUs based on Nuvia's architecture next year. According to him, they are set to be the best chips on the market, and it very well may be true. Nuvia's earlier tests using their Phoenix Core delivered 50% higher peak performance in Geekbench 5 over AMD's Zen 2 and Intel's Sunny Cove cores at, get this, one-third the power. We're talking 4.5 watts versus 14.8. Now, that's obviously Zen 2 and Sunny Cove, but neither AMD or Intel's newest CPU architectures are anywhere near that much better. And that test was last year, so things are likely even better. Plus, remember that this is Qualcomm. Their Snapdragon chip is likely in your Android phone right now, so they know a thing or two about the CPU business. Not only that, but Qualcomm is planning to license their cores to companies interested in the server market. And hey, if they do well enough, we could eventually see Qualcomm try to tackle desktop. Maybe. Regardless, at the end of the day, Intel, AMD, and Apple should be really concerned, as a new competitor is here. So while that does it for today, are you excited to finally see a new CPU competitor or are you just still kind of aggravated that your CPU, which likely isn't even that old, doesn't support Windows 11? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.